Yoko, recap. Uh, what started the last session? Katsuragi, recap. As long as I know the start date, I know what happened. Last time on. Last time on the Kami, Way of the Kami. Uh, Shinigami. They, we fought a Shinigami. And we ran away from it. We managed to beat it up a little bit. But it's a Shinigami. It'll always come back to quote-unquote life. So we kept running away. And then Disco Kami said, Guys, can we please make a detour? I'm about to fucking die. I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm fucking die on Ligma. We made this. We made a detour to go to the closest shrine, the, the shrine closest to heaven, and then he died. It was sad, and then uh, we left, and we 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 await for him to return whenever Yakuza Zero comes out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we left, and we made it to Kyoto. Kyoto. We went to Kyoto where we visited a couple shrines, learned some ka learned some ka ka kawaya. Learned some Kawaii lore, and after that, we went to another shrine and fought the Lord, the God, Kami, of candies and sweets and treats. And uh, Vivian, uh, with some encouragement from the others in Katsuragi, managed to get her first quote-unquote solo win. Kawaii kind of fucking Rasengan that dude and like nearly one-shot him. Do that, do that, do that. She'll accept it, though. And as we continue on our journey, what lies ahead for our group? Our duo. What? Oh, oh, yeah. We played the extended thing. I, <laughs> I had way too much time to fucking yeah, finish it. Sorry. I, just so like, I like the Boo Saka version, but it sounds nice. Anyways. Uh... So, uh, last time we ended on going back to the RV to go check out some more shines. Uh, but Kawaya, uh, it said, I'll be back, and then flushed himself into a toilet and has not returned yet. Nui's just been chilling. Nui's been chilling. And. Uh, and Vivian is also been chilling. Yeah, Yoko, Yoko's been in the in the in the domain for a while. Kawaya like was flushing down. He said, "No matter what you do, don't go do shrines by yourselves." And then Yoko and Katsuragi heard that and just heard, "Go do shrines by yourselves." <laughs> so you've decided to go take on the shrine by yourself to save time because we have three more shrines. It's not, it's not by ourselves because we're together. So you're together, together. And also, Helen is uh, with Vivian. Helen's with Vivian. They're, they they need to stay on the van. And Shinigami could be here at any moment, and Nui will stay with them to protect them, along with Miguel. along with the fucking Barry boy, Miguel, and Ben Miguel and Barry boy, our personal chef, um, big personal chef Barry boy, who can only cook sweets. <laughs> He, no, no, no. We, it's like, we don't need sweets. Oh, I, I can do this stuff. I can do this stuff. I can do this stuff. <laughs> no. So long as it has to do with, like, the baking and, you know, mildly boiling. As long as I haven't put a little bit of sugar in it, it'll be fine. That's fine. You <laughs> Katsuragi dies of heart failure. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that Leon falling down over and dying. Oh! oh. <laughs> Katsuragi's fucking diabetic and dies. Damn it, how did you know my bane is insulin? <laughs> I love insulin. Oh no, Katsuragi. Oh, someone put the thing on loop because... I don't want to do a thing. See, new, new, here's some new lore for you, Cody. He doesn't like to put it on repeat. He doesn't like to put it on repeat because he doesn't he doesn't want to log in and have them know I him. No, I don't want spam emails, man. I don't, I don't get spam emails. You don't know. You just you do. You just don't fucking spam. I don't get them. Anyways, uh, Katsuragi and Yoko, you step out of the RV. It's time to team up. After, after Katsuragi does that for no reason, the Leon thing. 
<laughs> and then <laughs> Yoko's gonna teleport back in from the from the uh, from the domain. And she does like the Eno teleport in. Yeah. As uh, <laughs> Yoko is in a Titanfall pilot suit. <laughs> Without the helmet, without the helmet, gotta keep the no. gotta keep the face good. Yes, yes. <laughs> I thought you were gonna have a helmet. He was gonna fucking nod in approval. <laughs> yeah, no helmet. That's right. He's like almost like really, really impressed, and he's like, oh no, helmet. not yet. No, not a helmet yet. Not yet. Two at a time. Azaragi looks over. You've decided to wear different apparel. Yeah, it's my pilot suit. You didn't need a pilot suit before. Is this a sign of your growth? Uh, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. As two, like, little, like, <laughs> like, the shoulder, um, like, robot arms in Titanfall. <laughs> like, but two, there are two, like, from, like, her, from, like, the back of her shoulder blades that are just sort of, like, doo -doo -doo, and just sort of, like, fold themselves back up to her back. For some reason, this picture of the Titanfall pilot. Chris. Which one? I found one of them. It's different. I'll just, I'll just go with the one. I'll just go with uh, Mr. Co Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Uh, the uh, thing you, is that all, know, of the, all the jumpsuits like also have a bunch of military stuff on them. Hmm? I also have like a bunch of military fatigues in addition to it. Yoko, I hate to tell you this, but Titanfall comes out four years from now. <laughs> she knows. Hey, you I don't. Think I yearn. I yearn for it. Yeah, children yearn for Titanfall. <laughs> Yoko, Yoko's like I, I can, I can fix, I can fix the mecha genre. I can do it. I can fix it. America needs one. America needs it. It reminds me of those tweets where, like, people like, this is what uh, this is what the kids are into nowadays. They say the movement's really good. This is a bunch of fucking kids hopping around, like, hopped up on cocaine, just bouncing with the worst movement you've ever seen. And everyone always just says the kids yearn for Titanfall. <laughs> they yearn for the wall run. And then, like, Fortnite basically just has Titanfall movement. Yes, now. they yearn. They yearn for it. They yearn for Please. Titanfall. <laughs> Please, I need it. Our armored core. I I've started to cope with armored core. Armored core. They only, they only have the mechs though. It's so fucking. Yeah, I, know, <laughs> I know. I know. There's a movement oh, there. All right, fellas, you can stop now. All right, sorry. We, we got Never. It. You can stop crying now. I'm sorry. Titanfall is mentioned. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't come. I didn't come here to have to witness this. <clears throat> Anyways, which shrine would you like to go to? Uh, Berry Boy was in South. I believe was he? so. Never. I no. I think there was North. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check here. Check real quick. Let me look through my fucking history. This decides the fate of the session. So we're gonna do one shrine, right? Just one. What what if we finish really quickly and then we can do another one? No, just the one. Does that mean like we're really good at the game? Yeah, it means we're really good at the game. <gasps> Did you ever finish that Asbjorn deck? Uh, it's halfway. Right? We could do it after this somewhere. Yeah. You know, I go get some food after because I've definitely worked up an appetite. And then we, we can, you can do that and then we can play some druids. Uh, Looking at it. You guys were in. Not the West. Uh, not the North. So far, so far, it's looking like it's the south. I think yeah, it's this one. No, it's not this one. 
что на это действует. Yeah, there it is. You guys were at the Shogunzuka Mound Shrine, uh, which is in the Eastern Ghetto, so that is the East. The East is fallen. The East is fallen. <laughs> the East is fallen. <laughs> Alright, so we've done the East then? So you've done the East, so what you have left is North, South, and West. Alright. Hmm, Yoko. Hmm. What do you believe we should go do? We have three options ahead of us. North, south, west? Yes. Do we know what they're sort of like? Uh, you no. know, north is closer to, like, uh, all the to like modern city stuff. Uh, south is a lot more traditional uh, and a lot smaller, with considerably less temples to look there. And north north is similar to south, but has a shit ton more sun temples. Hmm. We could get the hardest out of the way. And go to a place that has a lot of temples. Well, there are only two of you, so you could go to somewhere less. Yeah. Correct. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you got Jiggy Don facing towards the north. <laughs> Correct, that is the weaker option. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's north or east? Um, I think you mean north, south, or east. You get on. Yeah, we can handle that. Hmm. All right, let's make a let's make a RNG based decision here. up so okay, so one is east two is north three is south i rolled the one roll the one i rolled the one so that's east east of islam katsuragi just flips himself like a coin and he lands east his head lands like pointing eastwards <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I have made the decision. Let us go east. Such a scientific method. Wait a fucking minute, you were yeah. already east. Yeah. Oh, hey, I you. meant west. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant, meant to go where my feet were pointing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he starts walking east, other way. <laughs> I meant west. Let us go. Mm. It'll be like a journey of some sort. A journey to the west? I know. Uh, to uh, you start heading west. Uh, you head on down to the western city. Uh, you head on down. Uh, fun fact about the west side of Kyoto. Uh, Toei Studio is there. Which is part theme, part, part studio. Mmm. Mm. That doesn't mean that somewhere in Kyoto could be that empty lot that they used to blow shit up. Hell yeah. They did, uh, we're going to my home. Katara Katara, receive a synergy boost. My fucking <laughs> domain boost. You oh. fools don't seem to realize this is my <laughs> current home turf. I receive An more power here. An empty parking lot? Yes. One owned by Toei. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a great number of shrines here. Uh, a lot of them really important, so you wouldn't think that anyone is living there, but I mean, 
you've seen uh, what happened to the one really important temple in uh, where, where the fucking the place we were just at. Not Sendai. Is it Sendai? Sendai. I think it's Sendai. I think we were at just at Sendai. Yeah, Sendai. Where we fought the Baku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe it was the Hokkaido <laughs> Shrine. Mm -hmm. uh, you visit one or two, see no sh no signs of anything. Uh, no signs of anything. Even the gods, they usually reside there. Since they're usually so important, they hang out in heaven and not here. You know, they do more important shit. Yeah, besides what we're fucking doing. Besides what these last jobbers are doing. Uh, you have your you have your rice ready? I think I have my rice ready. Uh, you haven't had a long rest. It hasn't been a day since last session, so if you use your rice last session. I don't think they used it last uh, session. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, you got fucked up by Fairy Boy. <laughs> no, I think Yoko gave you rice because we're still fucked up from the Shinigami encounter. Previously. Yes, <laughs> Yoko gave well, no, him. That was, that was like that was because that Shinigami encounter was like uh, in universe like two three days ago. Yeah, but she, but nobody, <laughs> but you didn't mention your ribs and she gave it to you that day. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think it was this day that they gave the rice. I think we had the rice. Mm. I'll give it to you just because this encounter might be difficult. What encounter now? Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm good at. We're good at the game. So, uh, how do you guys investigate? By the way, like just like a bunch of couple of shit kids, or do you guys actually do investigating? Katsuragi is investigation. He does. You can roll that. Katsuragi's gonna summon summon the double hat onto his head. Your is so much sleep. fucking walking. Which plus investigation? Yeah, uh, yeah. Those are streamlines, technically. Should I roll that instead? Well, you 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 don't you, you don't do you have any street buys? I do. You can roll street buys. Okay. Six successes <laughs> on five dice. Check it on. The wind returns your hat. You put it on. You immediately start investigating. <laughs> Yoko's like, I can't investigate. You do like the the typewriter reload <laughs> on your gun, even though it's you don't have to reload it. And you tip your hat and you smell it on the wind. Mm. Moss. Let's go that way. I smell a bit of an earthy feel, almost like moss in the air. Whatever we're looking for, it might be related to that. Make sure you don't get your socks wet. What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> She's like... <laughs> it's just like she's just looking looking at you the pilot suit like huh <laughs> then looks down we're in boots hmm. you start to walk in the way hey <laughs> we, can go, we can go faster if i carry you no we can go faster on my motorbike is there a particular reason why why no Humiliating. What are you ah. Humiliating. <laughs> I suppose the pride of another warrior should not be looked down upon. I apologize. <laughs> I'm looking for music. It's more appropriate than this. <laughs> oh, this is pretty appropriate. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. 
you head toward that mossy sun, uh, and you reach a moss temple called Kokedera, which does literally translate to your moss temple. Moss temple. Nah. Nice to be. Hmm. Yeah, as Yoko looks around. Uh, this is actually a pretty popular temple. Uh, for normal people, it requires a reservation made well in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, however, just the entire area around this temple is covered in just tons of moss. Uh, there's a sign. There's a sign out front saying 120 different varieties of moss. <laughs> they really like moss here. I'm looking at the uh, some pictures of the area. Yeah. This is a pretty area. area. They could send a picture of the area as well. Yeah, send it's a, a very nice there. looking area. Damn! Yeah, the moss makes it look very yeah. green. It's very good. You already know the oxygen be hidden. Oh yeah. That oxygen be hidden good though. You got you got that good oxygen. That good oxygen. That good shit. You feel your brain cells being fucking revived. Uh, roll Supernatural Science. You guys have that, right? I, I suppose. Yes. What do we roll for that? That's a good question. What do you want us to roll? For I believe in the past we've had it be rank plus... Just rank plus perception. I think we had it be in the past. That's That's the roll for werewolves. Yeah, so I think we should end doing that. Okay. Rank plus. Percent. Three successes on my part. But what about Yoko? I'm rolling. Man, what about Yoko? Choose your partner in this in this adventure. Please be kinder. I didn't say that. Five sucks. I uh, got an exceptional. Sit down. And she be sensing. I guess it makes sense. Last I checked, she was like a fucking five. That's all right. You feel, you feel it. You feel it faintly, but Yoko, you feel it uh, with your new Titanfall visor or whatever. She doesn't have one of those. <laughs> Not yet. She's working on it. You just feel it though. You just yeah. feel it in the air. The moss cover. The moss cover. The moss oxygen. Makes the scent go further, uh, and then you feel my need senses are tingling. They smell fresher air. <laughs> <laughs> my need senses. I need to find the most closed off air as possible. There, inside the shrine. Let's go. Mm. I'll trust your judgment on this. You appear to be something of an expert. Yeah, the air quality is usually kind of bad. Kind of used to it. Although. With my layer, I'm trying to fix that. I got an air conditioning unit now. I see. What was within your layer again? Eh, I'll show you. It's too much to explain. Okay. I trust you don't forget this promise, then. Yeah, I kind of want to show it off, and... Kawaiya is over... Kawaiya Dono is over in his own domain. It's okay, Yoko. You don't need the formalities around me. It's just really. Me. It's just me. Get I get you get out. It's just me. <laughs> it's just me. I'm not quite one to for enforce the formalities like that. Only once they're necessary. We are comrades in arms. Aren't you just a breath of fresh air? Well, we are in the moss area. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> That's right, you don't know when, but you have moss on your helmet. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> I like it. Good moss. Hey, uh, kick it on? Mm. Was that... Is that always on you? Are you calling me a Marimo? <laughs> <laughs> moss <-head. laughs> Um, 
I certainly suppose you could, but um, he goes up to pat it. Nice moss. Wasn't always there. No, this moss has no relation to the stand user. There goes like, I mean, this is a stand user attack. <laughs> Quick, Chikina, get it off me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I'll already see. touched my moss. <laughs> yeah, I also thought it was just like, oh, it's just moss on his head. Yoko would think it's a stand attack. It's an enemy mech! You head on over to the shrine temple. Uh, you notice uh, in the Shenkai, there are actually a lot of toads around. Just like toads? a bunch of toads covered in moss just chilling. <laughs> Yoko just, just, just looking around. Oh, to be a moss covered toad. If only that were me. You look on like chilling on a rock, it's just, like eyes completely closed, taking the greatest nap of its life. God, I wish that were me. What a peaceful creature. Let us commence forth. Let's get into the shrine. Yeah, into the shrine. You take a, you just like, you slide open the door a little bit. Uh, and much like other shrines, interiors, uh, there's like a center, uh, like object of praise in the middle. And around that's covered all over in like those uh, uh, ceiling things and like things for blessings. Those like, you know, the little things, they're like little yeah, rectangles, talismans. talismans and stuff. Uh, Omikuji, I believe. Uh, and, uh, you see, uh, behind the main, uh, like, uh, what's it called? It's like, uh, what's the thing you put a thing on? Like a pedestal, basically. Uh, behind the main pedestal, just behind it, you can barely, uh, see it because they're, they're, like, almost hidden. Not like they're trying to hide, but, like, they just, like, resting there and they happen to be the same sort of shape. Uh, the shape of a person. Uh, by the sense of it, a kami. So the seals are in the shape of a person, you said? No, it's just a, just a person. Here. Like, just resting? Yeah. Hmm. They are a kami, though, you can sense it. Perhaps that is our mark. Hmm. So we fight in moss? Or frogs. Let's see. Our secret third thing. Let's communicate first. We'll go from there. Yeah, the second one is the is the one I'm talking about. We're at the moss covered shrine. That's right. He's gonna walk forward. You walk, for, you walk in confidently to get on. Yeah, you know, I You go follows. You also walk in with the whirring of your thing. Uh, and you walk what? around and take a look at this guy. Uh, he seems to be wearing... Uh, wearing of what? Of your jumpsuit. It doesn't whir. <laughs> so only if it does something. <laughs> You're powering up. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, you're going to execute what? this dude. <laughs> what, what Titanfall pilot do? Um, d currently, this it's kind of just a mishmash of all of them. Up. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I, I I mean, I'm a personal love of the Pulse Blade pilot suit. No, like a, let me put up the Pulse Blade. Huh? I can do it. Pulse pilot. This one has Teddy. So therefore, not accurate. Therefore, it's Yoko. It's, yeah, no, it's not accurate because Yoko has no Teddy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, Katsuragi walks forward. Uh, you guys like, you guys like pincer him. You walk, Katsuragi walks on one side. Yeah, Yoko does from the other side. Yeah, that's uh, why he walks up like straight towards him. Alright. 
Uh, and you kind of like, you're tall enough to like look over this thing and look at him. Uh, and you see this kind of older looking man. Uh, if they're, if they're a commie and they look old, that means they're just choosing to look that way. Uh, this guy looks old. Uh, he has a lot of wrinkles. He has a couple of like, you like, fancy yourself a hermit. <laughs> yeah, something like that. He has a bunch of like, like, uh, blemishes and almost like warts on his face. Oh, and he has like a really old gray looking like beard. Uh, and he's wearing a kimono that looks uh, <laughs> gray and tattered. Uh, just very old looking, but so looks usable enough, practical, you know. Uh, and he seems to be somehow like a resting. He has like a big flat rock under him that he's sitting on. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Oh, hello. Yeah, he kind of like he, like, he he turns his head up and uh doesn't look at you because you're behind them. <laughs> he looks at Yoko. Who might you be? We've here we've come here to liberate this shrine. Are you perhaps the one keeping it? Oh yes, I was told this might happen. You gotta like ah, 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 you like hear him start setting up, you hear a bunch of bones crack <laughs> inside of him. <laughs> oh, oh that's my hip. Oh, oh. Sonny, help me, help me set up if you can. <laughs> Touches his hand, Moss! <laughs> <laughs> Frog! <laughs> That's right, he holds his hand out. To help him stand up, you hear more creaking. He stands like at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Alright, that's as much as I'm getting up. All right, I may be old, but I won't give up this place without a fight. Uh, okay. I'm just curious. <coughs> Do you choose to be feeble? Well, no. This this part's this part this part's uh, not not a lot of people like me. Hmm. I see. I don't receive a lot of praise in my own age. I understand. Katsuragi begins, like, backing up, facing towards him. Might I get the name of this opponent? This Katsuragi holds his hand up to his sword. Uh, for now, perhaps just call me Toad Sage. <laughs> As Yoko is just like, <laughs> Jiraiya? Is that you? <laughs> Katsuragi, also thinks, Katsuragi also thinks in the back of his mind, Jiraiya. <laughs> Two different versions of Jiraiya. <laughs> just like, Yoko, Jiraiya. And like, behind it, it's just like a picture, just like a fades in a picture of the fucking of like Jiraiya from Naruto. Yeah. And then Katsuragi just, Jiraiya. And it's the wood block piece. <laughs> <laughs> Jiraiya. <laughs> anime, why anime old man in a fucking wood block carving? That's hilarious. Did you like the roll initiative? Okay, let's roll. All right, I'm gonna fucking fight you. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh wow, everyone. Oh wow, Yoko, holy shit. Yoko rolled the highest initiative. What in the fuck is happening? Is that him sucking in? 
Yeah, that was a turd sound he just made. Ribbit. <laughs> so, what's that one fucking, uh... Ah, fuck it. You guys could put on battle music as well if you'd like. You could put on Naruto Storm music, I should not think about it. Oh! <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Kung Fu Hustle? Yes, I've seen some of it. <laughs> the dude whose entire fighting style is being a toad. <laughs> He literally like is around on all fours, <laughs> jumping like a frog everywhere, and does the fucking like throat ribbit thing. <laughs> all right, Yoko. Uh, someone put on battle music if you'd like. Uh, Yoko, what do you gotta do? Hmm. I don't have battle music. I don't have an idea for battle music right now. Maybe Jiraiya's theme or something? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Does Jiraiya have a theme? I'm not a Naruto fan. As Yoko is gonna, like, as she, re as she like, flexes her hands with, like, the brass knuckles on, like, the, like built into the gloves. As, like, like, the knuckles are all, like, just, like, all, like metal studded so like she can use her fingers just fine like shoot a gun or whatever but like the knuckles of them of like the glove are just like fucking brass knuckles mm. and she just sort of saunters up whoosh, and is gonna punch uh he's dodging um let's see so he doesn't apply defense, he just rolls. So you just roll your full defense pool, your full dice pool, and he's gonna roll mm -hmm. dodge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a bad dodge. <laughs> One suck. No, but it was a good dodge. That was a good dodge. Uh, is is you just like swing at him, uh, <laughs> and you know, he like disappears, uh, and you like uh, you're like where the fuck did he go? And Katsuragi, you just like feel something behind you as you see he's prone behind you. He's pro. He's the fucking toad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Katsuragi. Faces back. Hmm. Instant action because I don't have quick draw. <coughs> Shing! God, she's a sword. Whoa. What's what's good? In, what's a, what's fucking good music for Toad Battle? Uh. I'm looking through my stockpile. Of shit. There's gotta be something for a Toad Battle. Ribbit, <laughs> ribbit step. <laughs> Fucking ribbit dubstep. Jiraiya's gotta have a theme, right? Fighting frogs from Sea of Thieves. <laughs> uh, maybe that one Yakuza song from, I think it's Kiwami Tale. It's like, <laughs> oh, That's a fucking <laughs> jazz song. That might work. I don't know if Jiraiya's theme is the one we want to play. This is too cool. Well, I just, I don't, I don't know. Hmm. So much fight music, but nothing to play. For this battle. It's fine. It's fine enough. Can we play this? That's a good question. Oh, let's check. Not Jiraiya's death, goddammit. Whoa, spoilers. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, wait, wait, it seems to be okay. Wait, hold on. 
This doesn't fit at all, but I was thinking about playing, like, maybe Egg Chips Exert theme. Yeah, do that, do that. Do that, that, that one there. That is a Strive theme. Or maybe a Strive theme, but I don't know. Uh, while he's prone, he just, like, uh, uses all- he, like, flips onto his back on all fours and just like, <laughs> runs out of the shrine. Hmm. It appears we're gonna be fighting quite the uh, wily one. Prepare yourself. Hmm. Uh, Yoko, back to your turn. Uh, he seems to run outside and he's doing something. To your turn, the, the Yoka. Yeah, Yoka's gonna run outside. Uh, you run outside. Uh, can you hold reception for me? I can. Just for free, you know. Go <clears throat> quick. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> I don't see shit. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, it's everything's normal out of here. You, you see him out here. He's standing out in the middle of the place. Cool. He's he's ready to accept his fate. Time to kill him. Kill him. Murder him. He's just standing there. He's just standing there. <laughs> yeah, Zyoko. <laughs> you gonna shoot him <laughs> with a gun? Yeah, gun. Uh, Turret Sage, uh, does not have defense against firearms. He's like, this seems fishy. Bang! <laughs> I think he has, he does have the thing. Uh... Firefight does not help. Is it CGC? Is the one where you can run for cover. You can run for cover. You can spend your turn to run for cover. Yeah, you can respond to a ranger's act by seeking cover up the place you speed away. Uh, yeah, you see, you see, you pull out a guard, he goes like, "Whoa!" <laughs> he runs behind the tree. He's taking cover. He's taking cover. How much cover? Uh, it's a tree. So it's pretty good cover. Full cover? Mmm. Yeah, that's as a. He's not a particularly large guy. <clears throat> I forget what full cover does. Alright, time to take out the book. Well, wow, you're talking about cover rules? Hold on, hold yeah, on. Cover. I can look at my book! You have, you have the it book? I got the core book. <laughs> Damn, bro. It, it gives penalties. It gives a minus three penalty depending on the durability of the cover, or depending on the uh, concealment. I mean, so if he's fully, oh. if he's fully, if he's fully covered, then it's a minus three to the roll, and uh, if the damage of your uh, gun, the damage of the range attack, doesn't exceed the damage, the durability of the uh, thing, it just doesn't go through. And if it does exceed the damage, or if the damage does exceed the durability of the cover, then it can go through, but the durability counts as armor for the character. Hmm. What's the durability of a tree? Yeah, what's the durability of a tree? Well, the durability of, like, standard, like, like store-bought wood is, like, I think two, maybe th maybe one. So I don't, I don't know about the durability of a full-on actual tree. Probably pretty good though. I'll we'll go five. Five. Three, four. You said three is the normal one, right? No, I said three is like I said two is the durability of standard wood, ah, like my bad. Wood. My bad. Two. And I mean, and three, three is wood. like three is like the durability of like steel. <laughs> durability is a pretty like. I'll give it a I'll give it a three just because there's moss on the tree. 
Durability as a system is kind of like... It's a bit fucky, but I'll give it three. It's it's situational because, you know, not everything has a durability. Durability of three, full cover minus three. This is a hardwood tree. You don't make trees like this anymore. It's the moss on there, bro. That's just bulletproof. <laughs> the moss? <laughs> the moss is so smooth that a bullet could slide right off. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here. Here's the durability bullshit. Wood is one. Stone and aluminum is two. Steel iron is three. Did you fire Yoko? Uh, so, so... Full cover minus three. Okay, minus three, so it's actually this. Fuck. Two successes. I meant to hit- I meant to hit- to hit the dice pool. To like, change like the dice pool robot hit roll. How much lethal you do? Uh, it's, uh, the Beretta is I think two. Well, what's the- what's the base damage? It's one lethal. Yeah, so. What durability is this tree? Like, there's the durability. I'm going two because apparently wood is one. As I Guess said, the moss—it's incredible moss. It's magical moss. That means it doesn't go through at all. Uh, you shoot into the tree, just like. Oh, <laughs> uh, as he like hide, jumps behind it. But it's okay. That he gave up his turn to do that. He did give up his turn to do that. As I Katsuragi, you run outside, also roll perception. That, yeah. Alright, Yoko, you think I'm gonna be able to make this? <laughs> you do it. Six success on five. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Yoko, you dumb bitch! <laughs> Yoko, you fucking whore! <laughs> You run outside, you look up directly in the middle of where Yoko is, you see a bunch of toads organized in a very intricate pattern. <laughs> like on the ground. Katsuragi's gonna like grab Yoko and kinda like throw her back to the shrine real quick. <laughs> you swap places with her or do you like grab her and then run back? He swaps places. Okay. Be careful. There are frogs everywhere. Huh? <laughs> there are toads. Oh shit, there are frogs everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> the toads, they are dangerous. Hmm. I had to inform you. I'll keep going, have my back. Huh? <laughs> what? You're going out there? <laughs> I have a sword. <laughs> it holds up the gun? <laughs> I, I have to, I go in. I go in, have my back. <laughs> hey! Run in there, Katsuragi. Pull. What you doing? You run You run up to the trees, like, oh boy. Katsuragi's gonna run in there. Uh, and he's going to jump. And with brachiation, the variation, he's gonna jump and then just full on land on the tree. And he's just like standing completely fine vertically on it. <laughs> he's chakra controls in back of all. And he starts running around the tree to look at him, and then goes for like a fucking Hakuman like jab stab. Uh can you yeah. still can you still reflexively dodge if you use your turn for cover? Ah uh, no, because because that would take because dodging takes up an instant action. Mm, all right, it's a uh, eight defense. Yeah. Dude, the issue though is that this is a mostly normal attack from Katsuragi, so. Katsuragi no Hmm. Katsuragi. All right, I'll test the waters. I'll, I'll I'll attack this. I'll test the waters and see how much he does. 
Zero successes. <laughs> block. Pay. <laughs> he just blocks. <laughs> he just like holds his hand up and blocks it. Katsuragi holds it. Uh, holds his uh, gets him <laughs> gets himself ready. As you like, draw no. back your sword. You like hold out his hand to you, and you look at what's it's in his hand. That's moss. It's good moss. Yeah. It appears I have to kick it up a little, a couple notches. It appears I will have to as well. Uh, you see him clap his hand together, and yell, TOAD SUMMONING JUTSU! <laughs> <laughs> As Yoko from the toad circle you were just in the middle of, you see, you just like, you just hear rumbling. Uh, and they're like, what the fuck? And you look up into the sky, and a toad is falling, a giant toad is falling <laughs> from the sky. <laughs> Ooh, she's looking up, ah! It's time for Toadfall. Uh, the toad lands. Uh, is all the toads around it just like hop out of the way <laughs> uh, as it lands like the entire <laughs> the entire area shakes uh, and there's a big ass toad uh, covered in moss on his back uh, and wearing like a Hawaiian shirt on it like a big red Hawaiian <laughs> shirt with a bunch of like the funny yellow flowers uh, he seems to have a giant smoking pipe <laughs> Lemon it's you it's me it's you, Lemon. Why it's true? Does he like falls from this guy? Let me add this guy to the shit. He's all right. I should have. Oh shit. Let's catch up. Uh turn rolls around the kite show, uh as he like like takes a big drag of his pipe. And he's like <sighs> What the hell are you calling me for, old man? As like he's, <laughs> as they cut the racket, you see him like put his hands together, like bow. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some type of summer. Intriguing. Please assist me in defeating these these intruders. Uh, I'm t I was on vacation, you old man. <laughs> I was in America. It was great. I was basking in the Florida sun. <laughs> the Everglades. The Everglades heat. The fuck's a Florida? <laughs> Fl Florida? <laughs> Florida? <laughs> <laughs> Yoko saying Florida brings me immense pain and <laughs> joy. <laughs> A new threat. Uh, Katsuragi, what's your funds? None. None? Oh, yeah, you all attacked, didn't you? I did, yeah. Oh, that's a yikes. Uh, I will spend willpower. Uh, not saying not to do anything. I'm gonna spend willpower, assuming I'm getting attacked. Uh, he's going to sacrifice his defense, but not for an all-out attack. You trying to light weapon to me? Uh, no, he's gonna bring the pan. The pain. The pain. The fear. The fear. Wow, only two sucks. Yeah. Uh, his pipe does do two lethal, so that's four lethal. Four lethal? Just four lethal? 
Uh, yeah, just for lethal, but that's a temporary uh, minus four dice. Because it brings ah, that. Uh, any any damage you score counts as a penalty. Ah, what's wrong? Four. Damn. I don't even have to spend. Will I was preemptively spending willpower. He brings down the pipe on you. It like destroys the tree from top to bottom, and then like it stops from destroying all of the tree down to the roots because you put your like hand, your, your sword up, and you're stopping it from going down further. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna not spend that willpower because I thought like I was gonna get hit with a massive hit, and I was getting ready to heavy weapons warding stance. I mean, it was a pretty big hit. It was. I'm just. It didn't go over my base armor. I was preempting just in case I got hit, like fucking, like fucking Dragon Ball, like Mob Psycho. Like, like he's easy blocker. He's like, uh, all right, why did you bring me into here? <laughs> Damn kid, don't you know to respect your elders? I'm sorry to say, you'll be facing Katsuragi no Jikiran. Oh. As he holds up the sword. I'll teach you who. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Giant head. As Joker goes over. Alright, didn't I think I have to use these yet? As she begins walking forward with the brass knuckle like gloves. And she's walking forward towards the toad. As uh as the two like shoulder. What are you walking towards me for? As the, uh, ching, as, like, the two metal arms come up over her shoulders. As they seem to be also have fists. As they seem to be preparing to punch. <laughs> punch, 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 punch. As she's gonna go over, as she's gonna run, and as all four arms are gonna start punching at once in an aura rush. I gain a bonus to this. A plus three, I believe. Yes. You know exactly what I'm taking. I know. Um, yeah, so that is... I see. You've really kidded yourself out. Uh, the defense is eight. Yo, you used your defense pool. Oh yeah, I thought to bring the pain. Yeah, you're right. No defense. <laughs> no defense. And I'm gonna spend a point of willpower in order to, uh, to get wrote. Nine successes for uh, nine lethal. <laughs> He's like, What are you coming towards me for? And you're like, I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. And you order us up. Can't beat the shit out of that. Can get without getting any closer. <laughs> As like the metal arms start to punch and rush. <laughs> He does as well as they're made of metal, <laughs> and they just. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five. They have four armor. Uh, as you punch, like its soft, its soft belly, as it like it, it like absorbs the impact. But you're still like punching it a lot, so you're bruising a lot of its belly. It's like ah, ah, fucking stop, stop, stop it, stop. <laughs> She oh she aura rushes and then like takes a step back once it's done. As like the arms, the metal arms just shake off. Like as if like <laughs> just like as if it's just like, huh, yeah, now it's getting interesting. Your hands are all slimy. Or what? Your slimy? Your hands are all slimy. <laughs> yeah, the the metal arms just <laughs> as they're shaking them off and she just yeah. <laughs> That's right, you know you get on. He holds up his sword in his stance. Uh, he holds up his sword in his stance and... <clears throat> Second gate of love! Open! As he explodes in a burst of heat. As he does that reflexively. He's gonna turn towards the Toad Sage and jump towards him. Dodge! Ah! Tree side helm splitter. He's dodging. Let me roll. Then, uh, 
He's gonna Vril Power this. Vril Power. And you know what? You know what? No, 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 he got five sucks on his eyes. Hatsuragi is also gonna bring the pain. Oh, Christ. He's gonna spend his uh, defense to bring the pain. Katsuragi, come on. You don't need to bring that <laughs> you, you don't need to bring your Blair the fucking Blair fight luck over here with you. I know you can roll better than this. <laughs> you, you like tree side home splinter you swing down as he back flips and you miss him just by the legs. Uh, as he like handstand jumps onto the back of the toad. The giant toad. Katsuragi, that was eight dice with nine. That was dice that was pretty dice. shitty, Katsuragi. <laughs> and they, they do. Ka Kaicho looks at you. He's like, "We should, bud." And holds up his sword again. Uh, the Toad Sage is going to roll. Uh, you see the giant toad is like, just like his face thing is expanding. Uh, Yoko is coming for you. What does the toad sage do? Oh, uh, this is the toad sage's thing. Oh. They're one sort of unit, though. It's, it's, it's flavored if they make it come out of the toad. He already spent his uh he already spent his instant action dodging. Oh this will be the toads this will be the kai chai's one. Uh let me Hold on. Let me change the dice pool. They have the same power but different dice pools. <laughs> it's actually worse for you, Yoko. The the, the, the kai kai chai's dice pool is better. Oh no. Uh this is the blast power, which is should hire as an activation roll. They got four socks. Uh, they're putting in four chakra into it, so that's eight lethal Yoko. Armor applies. As you see the toads like rrr, 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 and then just like psh, blast like highly pressurized like a just a water beam at you, just a water blast, like fucking blast noise. It's a pillar of water into your face. How are you looking, Yoko? Uh, in terms of... HP? How much was it? Uh, 8 lethal. Armor applies. Is this kind of ballistic or standard? Standard. Like, attack. Okay. I had to think about it for a minute. Alright. As... Oh, pretty bad. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Um, as she sees it going towards her, and she's like, Ah, oh, son of a- As she holds up her hand, and a fucking AT field spawns in front of her hand. Oh, <laughs> 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 the tower, the giant tower, it's like, as she's gonna use the toughest stone building and <laughs> downgrade all of that damage. <laughs> I just need to spend some, I believe. Kataragi, what the hell is that? One chakra. <laughs> as as a ting, as an AT field, as she looked genuinely surprised. Kataragi, all the water like deflects off the thing and just lands on you. <laughs> Hmm. That's an absolute terror field! <laughs> Just somewhere on the wind you hear, I thought it was absolute terror field. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, your turn, Yoko. You just deflected all that fucking water blast. Perfect parry. You held triangle and circle while holding back. Alright, Yoko. Yeah? And she's still, like, looking at her hand. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's her turn. Your turn now. She looks... Huh. As she's gonna as like the the arms come up again, <laughs> he's gonna start punching again. Spend a point of willpower for uh for the uh what's it called uh for rote. What's its defense? Uh, it did not all let attacks with eight. It did not all attack. It's not. One success <laughs> for one lethal. You punch it's fucking boom. You just hear like a like the sound of water slapping its tires. It's like it's like boom 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 boom. <laughs> we shit good. Fighting a toad, Kataraki no Jikeda. <laughs> toad Sage <laughs> jabs towards him. As Kataraki's gonna jump towards him in the midair. <laughs> Double combo! As <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> quick draw and pull out his gun, dragon fire. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Uh, eat the fence, he's not dodging. <laughs> Just like you. That is... Uh, three lethal for dragon fire. Okay. And Katsuragi, after that, is gonna jump forward, and while he's, like, covered in fire, he's gonna do a big, like, sideways slash. His defense is lowered by one. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Reflexive Dragonfire. And, alright, it's gonna work this time. It's gonna work this time. I'm gonna bring the pain. I'm gonna spend the power bringing the pain on him. Did we ever put in the other chip stain? I did. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a two success kind of day for you, combat. <laughs> it is a real two success kind of day. It's a two success kind of day for Katsuragi combat wise. How much lethal is the second one, dude? Early. Earlier, earlier, Katsuragi rolled six dice, six successes on five dice twice, and now his main shtick he's getting two successes on. He only gets uh, successes on one. useless things. Uh, success, that's uh, four lethal on that. And uh, how much damage? He, and how much damage he deals is a penalty. This is Katsuragi brought the bane. As he like fire and then through the fire slash out of him. Uh, as he, like, just puts up his hand again and reveals Moss in it. No damage. No damage? No damage. Six lethal? Uh, not total. It was two separate attacks. No, I don't. Six lethal. The last hit. Like, straight up. Six? One lethal. Yeah, dude. Alright, he takes a minus one to his next ice roll. Pretty good. Alright. 
Goku, I'm gonna show you. Do your worst, Sage of the Toads. You gonna do a cold shot to the head? It's gonna do a cold shot. Yeah, how much? That's a minus four for that, right? Minus three. 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 What the fuck is that sound? Hmm. I hear it too. Do you? Not in my place, I hear it through the mic. Like, yeah, someone yelling? It just sounds like a woo! Yeah, it's like someone making barf sounds. Is that on your end or is that yeah, on That's my end, isn't it? It's not mine. <laughs> wow, you only got three socks. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, three lethal. Ah, my armor! It just feels like even whatever he tries to do, it just fucking clang against his helmet. I'll be honest, I thought that helmet was just like a poly or polymer or something. Like plastic. No. I have all divine steel. Some sort of scarlet steel. <laughs> What? Gotcha, Sam. Uh, Kaiju is kind of like, what the hell are you doing on my back, kid? Do you talk to the Katsuragi? He's not gonna get Katsuragi. He calls everyone kid, no matter who they are. I'm fighting your Toad Summoner. You won't be able to shake me off. Eh, uh, you'll never beat him. Why must you doubt? Cause I know that I've known that some of the kids I can't curse. I have kids now. <laughs> They're in Florida. Uh okay. I have I guess I'll roll it attack. That's where I go to your defense. None. None? None because I tried to bring the pain. Oh boy, he's bad. Uh, Katsuragi, uh, you see the Toad Sage jumps off, uh, the, off the back, he's like, why do you jump off for? As you, like, feel the Toad jump up into the air and then flip onto its back in midair and slam it to the ground <laughs> with you still on it. If you think this will stop... <laughs> Six lethal. Uh, two lethal. He takes. If you think it's a boo 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 <laughs> He's just like crushed. <laughs> yeah, he crushed on the random of mine. As he like, rah, rah, flips back over. <laughs> You're like flat on like a pancake on its back. <laughs> you say we'll never beat him. We're here to tell you you're surely mistaken. Yeah, okay. Just a flesh wound. Oh yeah, crush wound. <laughs> did, did crazy internal damage. You broke a rib there. <laughs> Yoko. It's your turn. 
Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to step it up a notch. We both are. I believe we've been underestimating them. Damn right. As she cracks her knuckles. As, uh... As she, like, gets into a stance. As, uh, she's going to spend three chakra. And is going to activate exemplary athleticism. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> the jump kit behind her, and, like, on her, like, the small of her back begins to ignite. Like, with, with, like, flames. Hmm. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Katsuragi stands up uh, on your turn. Gate of longevity, open! As he will also activate exemplary of what is <laughs> reflexively. Yeah, as as she activates it instantly. You took How a come turn you can to do, do it, it reflexively? It's a gate. Because it's a gate, not, uh, not just the power. Mm, neat. I can go up to gate four reflexively. Yeah. Everything, every, everything beyond that has to be instant. It starts killing them after Gate Four. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. I, I mean, took one. Like, I, I took one lethal. I, from no, that. I thought I was just doing something wrong. <laughs> no, I took one lethal from doing that. Oh no! Exemplary athleticism is fucking. It is reflexive, ain't it? No. No. Let's find out. Mac, have you been doing it wrong? Have I been doing it wrong? I don't, I don't think I, I don't think he has. <laughs> Hold on. Exemplary athleticism is instant. How's he getting a reflexive cup? Does Mac have a reflexive? Do we write it down wrong on Mac C? Uh, probably. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it says reflexive on his sheet. How did we... How did that happen? I don't know. Matt. What do you don't know me? You're the one who's ready to shut down. I didn't do all of it. Well, maybe he's so fast he can just do it reflexively. No. Get a power that makes you lets you do that. <laughs> anyway, he's <laughs> okay. You look cool. Fighting a tower with Katsuragi no Juke on. This Katsuragi took his turn to do that. Or took his reflexive on her turn to do that. He's gonna stand up. Hold that his arm. Hold that his um uh, red hot sword. Uh, he's gonna go towards the Toad Sage again. Get that motherfucker! Get that motherfucker! Get that motherfucker! Well, let me let me get my stuff correct. Defensive eight. Mm -hmm. Did did I go die? Hello? Hello? Uh oh. What happened? Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! What the fuck happened? Is that for everybody? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is just shut itself for a minute there, hold on. Oh god. Yeah. That was, that was a terrifying moment just then. It was. Wait, actually. Uh, 8-3. Three, three. Uh, that's why he's gonna spend another real power. Good calling at that. What What's so wrong? I don't, I don't like it. There you are, Katsuragi. Uh, maybe I should have brought the pain on this. Oh well. This Katsuragi's gonna run forward. Any task will do. We'll handle. 
Yeah! Because he's gonna uh, do like a like another like Ichimonji style uh, splitter on him. Uh, for nine successes, 13 lethal. 13 lethal? Yes. Did you minus the eight? Yes, you did. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woof. Woof. Yikes. <laughs> How does that feel? That is the might of, that is the might of our willpower. Ah, oh, my hip. <laughs> you threw out my hip. <laughs> uh What could I could, could I get a could I get a willpower refill? Because I acted in accordance to my life instead of my terror, no my no legend, which is a nobody. We sure. You gotta learn. You gotta learn legend and life. <laughs> Tommy willpower is is very fucking not often. No, I'm just like, like mm, all right, sure thing. <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. My life is determined. Oh, my hip. Ah, my hip. <laughs> there is more where that came from. Hold oh, up I remember where that came from, too. I would hope so. That is Katsuragi's turn. Mm, I know. I know. He's gonna call shot the head of your gun. <laughs> You'll find that won't be so hard. My defense is also eight. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not so easy to hit now, aren't I? You get a road action. I beg your pardon. You get a road action. You heard him. <laughs> you heard the motherfucker. He's road actioning. <laughs> Uh, ten lethal. All right, Katsuragi is going to spend willpower to use warding stance to make his armor eight. Not, not me. Since Katsuragi blocks most of that attack with a uh, with his sword. How much did you take? Two lethal. Uh, you're stunned for two turns. Nope. I still no, as deal as much damage as my size. Yeah, look. Or as my yeah. That's how the. In order to get the stun tilt on someone for cold shot in their head, you have to deal as much damage uh, yeah. as. Uh, stun on if they had minus one size or with a cold shot to the head minus there. And it's mm -hmm. not enough for the race because your size five. Yeah. You almost got me. You almost got gotcha. you. Oh, I almost mm -hmm. had you. Oh, my hip. Oh, my hip. <laughs> I won't fall for such cheap, cheap tactics. <laughs> he's like on the he's like on the ground with the, with the on the back of the throat, like oh my hip, <laughs> Kaito will mm. yep, go into your fence. Uh, currently.
I'll be right back. Uh, that is plus that. It's oh, never mind. I won't. I, I won't be right back because I got a missed call from someone, and I thought it was my uncle because I thought I was supposed to be getting a call from him at some point soon. Uh, and then I looked at the caller ID. It's not from my uncle because it's from Beijing, China. Mm. <laughs> Bing chewing. Uh, Bing four chewing. defense. How much? Four defense. Four defense, is I. Actually, no, it's still three, because it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it was like, oh, I, I can increase my dexterity by one with, uh, except for the athleticism. Oh, wait, it's lower. <laughs> Which my wits is three. <laughs> so just default back to three. Your defense is four. Defense is three. Uh, the Toad Sage does a half circle punch as he gives a command grab on you. Three command sucks. grab. Three sucks. Half circle. Half circle punch. Command grab. Yeah, he spits out his tongue, just like what, and wraps around you. <laughs> am, I, am I now in a grapple? You're not grappled. Welcome to the grappling world. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit! He's grappling you. His tongue. It's gross. It's slimy. Mm, gross. <clears throat> I am going to try and break out. Yeah, it is your turn to do that. Where the fuck is the grappling style? There it is. Alright, roll. It will also roll. You roll with the fans or you just roll the entire dice? You, you roll your grappling dice, but which is brawl plus strength. They're a spirit, so they didn't have one from us. They got four successes, that's a pretty high bar in the jump, Yoko! He got what? Four sucks on his grapple. Oh, I see. Hmm. It's not like you have exemplary of lettuce or anything, this will be difficult. You don't know my luck. Yeah, I do, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Example of Ezum gives him a plus three to strength right now. Sure. Six successes. You immediately escape the tongue. You just, you you do your burst, and you like, <laughs> you do a burst with the AT kill, which is like, burn, separate, and jump out. Uh, and that's her turn? Uh, at least uh, to escape a grapple. Or can I can I actually do my thing? Doesn't it well, succeeding you, on a grapple? You can do a maneuver, which is escape. Yeah, you can you can do a maneuver. You, you can, can also turn is... the grapple back on him and start attacking. <laughs> no. You just gotta escape. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Get out of this. Uh, yeah, you jump out. Uh, fighting Toad, and go kick Katsuragi as you get out. <laughs> Katsuragi's gonna, like, run onto the Toad, like, a wall run, and then jump for him, <laughs> like, getting the area advantage, like, aerial advantage. Defensive still, tw or, uh, eight. Yep. I'll be spending another willpower on this. And this time, I am going to bring the pain again. Oh, Christ. Bring the flaming pain! Five successes for nine lethal. Oh, Christ. Oh, 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 you put my hip back into place. Ah! <laughs> and you smash him into the ground. Alright, how much damage is that? Uh, he took four lethal. Don't worry, I know. Don't worry, I know. Yeah, yeah, make sure you keep that minus in chat, in it? I, I know. 
Yeah. He's got to argue, like, lands on him, knee on his chest before he, like, does a combat roll off him and gets into another stance. Uh, he's gonna... Oh, oh my everything. Oh, my everything is fun. Uh, Kataragi. That is me, yes. Uh, you see, like, him put his hands together and do something similar that you've seen before. Where have you seen this before? If you look at it, it looks kind of like a water spinning around really fast. For thank god! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a blast. Oh, he's putting in all his shocker into it, though. 12 lethal. 12 lethal? 12 lethal. Damn. You're lucky that, uh, what's it called? Warding stance doesn't actually, like, doesn't actually block range attacks. Yeah, he just blasts a Hadouken at you. A water Hadouken. Alright. Besides 8 lethal to him. Shadow, would you like to go outside? I put Katsuragi at full lethal. Ooh. Because he's hit by that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Did he remain standing? That's not the first time I've seen that technique before. Wait a second, you are Jiraiya the Sage! Who the what's up? From this show called Naruto. The thing you put on ramen? No. no Jiraiya the Sage, he's a real dude too! I mean, I know the, the woodblock carving story of Jiraiya. I knew him, yes, but I do not know his Naruto you were speaking of. But you knew Jiraiya? Yes. Are you just stealing his shtick? No, this was my shit that he stole. No, 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 yeah, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Seriously, why are you guys talking about the ramen ingredients? Uh, Kaijo. Uh... Alright, Yoko, time to get st not stabbed. Punted by a pipe. Events. It's three. Five lethal. Uh, as they just line up and hit you like a golf ball of a think, pipe. I think you mean five bashing. Oh my god, the AT field! <laughs> Another AT field? Seriously, what is this shirt that you keep doing? As Yoko's still really hurt. <laughs> that should you need not backup. Hair. You need backup. <laughs> little bit jolts him a little bit. No, it's not. He's got druggy thuds. Yoko, your turn. You got this shit. Murder, murder this turn. You got this shit. As again, she she raises up like the four fists, as she as she's gonna she's gonna go for it. Free! You start punching again. Okay, so that's uh, that's that. What's that? What's that?
See you again. How many suck? 12? Wait, how many? He had defense, didn't he? Did he yell attack? Yell attack, dude, yeah. Alright, yeah, 12 successes. Great song, baby. For, uh. That is 12 lethal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, nine. she. Like, the, like the jump pack, the jet, the jump kit behind her just whoosh, spools up and like it, it phew, fires out from like little jets as she jumps forward and goes as she basically like sort of vaults over him and just like doing the aura rush all around him as he does. She just skids to a halt. Yeah, he's just like bash all over the top of his head. <laughs> it's like he just like his entire body like does the sharp jiggle like and he's just like smash him, and squish him a little bit. Oh, I have, I, I've been squashed like this since I was a little toad. Uh, fight a guitar with Katsura, I got a GK done. Question for Dragonfire. Uh, so, to use the normal effect for Katsuragi is four, four chakra. And to use the... Uh, stability, satiety effect, uh, which does aggravated damage uh, and ignores durability. Uh, that is that's six chakra. How much for the low satiety effect? Like, is it also four? Or that's a good question. I believe we ever decide that. No. We ever has this ever come up? No, it just no, it hasn't. It's just every time I've used Dragon Fire, I've either used just the normal effect or just the aggravated damage. Mm. So you want to activate both? Is what you're asking of me? No, I, 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 I don't want to aggravate damage, but I just want to, like, do the auto fire. Yeah, so yeah. before. Before? Okay. Yeah. It's technically an like an irrelevant question because I wasn't gonna, I, I can't do it with what I was planning on. But good, I mean, good, good to establish it. Yeah, good to establish it here where Adam can't look at me and feel and look down at me at the penny. What are you talking about? And I, I just whenever Adam's around, I feel like he's looking down on me. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to like reveal something personal thing about me right here right now, but I, I always feel like Adam's looking down on me from his high chair. With this bone thrown. High chair. High chair. Like the baby high chair is. Fourth date of change, open! As Katsuragi is going to go to gate four. Hmm. From my estimation, this is all I'll need. He takes two extra lethal. And by two lethal, I mean two aggravated. Katsuragi will now. Like with his instant action, shoves something into his armor, pulls out the pulls out the gourd, pulls out the pot. He's talking us. <laughs> he just shoves the fucking shoves it down to the gullet. Skills four, two. <laughs> the time is just like I ain't no fair, no fair. I wouldn't even race to him. I have no fair, no healing, no fair. <laughs> You can eat right. You can eat right if you want. No one said you couldn't. No, that wouldn't make for a fair encounter. I think. That's what you think. You say you say that as though we wouldn't beat you otherwise. <laughs> Look, I know a motherfucker who ate rice during a fight. The young thunder, that motherfucker. What? Oh, he says Young Thunder in Japanese, which is just literally Jiraiya. You, you're totally Jiraiya! I'm not Jiraiya. That means Jiraiya! I'm not, I am not the Young Thunder, I knew the Young Thunder. This is so confusing! I know what, Take what, your turn! What's so confusing to establish is- ah! <laughs> Toad Sage, take your turn. He's gonna punch you. That's your defense. Oh, my pizza's here too. Quick, what's your defense? Eight. 
Oh shit, it's gonna be Kaito's chair guy after this though. I'll ah, don't get my pizza for this. Go get your pet for your pizza. Pizza pizza. yourselves. So, uh, all the way from kids. Cody, hmm. have you been watching any of the Yu-Gi-Oh videos I keep I send you? Uh, no, because you usually send them at inopportune times while I'm like doing something else, and then like, and then I just forget about it. So I'll I'll, I'll watch them. I'll watch them. Alright, I'm back. I also lied, it wasn't a pizza, it's actually Popeyes. Popeyes. Why did you lie? I literally forgot. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back, I'm gonna grab my pizza. Okay guys, I, I lied, it was actually Popeyes. It's actually Popeyes, I could've lied and wouldn't have known, but it's fine. Man, that's some really crunchy fucking, that's a really <laughs> crunchy pizza you're eating. Oh yeah, I got pizza on the bone. Pizza on the bone. With the bone. Luffy's meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. Anyways. The vans. Eight. Ocho. Oh Christ. Because I weigh that you want that hell it is. Luckily, he doesn't have the negative anymore. That's good. He's got a road action, yeah. Does he have the negative? Doesn't he, he had it last turn. No, but isn't the, isn't, isn't the negative this turn? Is it? Uh, well, we don't. That was the nine success hit. Yeah, uh, he had four, so he only had nine success. Oh wait, no, the, uh, you're, it's gone. Yeah, I was right, I was right. <laughs> road action strike. Why the fuck are you road actioning? That's for him to know, for you to find out. Bro, thank you, Big Mac. You think he what? Bro thinks he's Big Mac. Bro thinks he's Big Mac. Nah, he ain't got celerity. <laughs> nah, but he's using boxing. Uh, 15 lethal. I will spend willpower to add my to add damage and armor for seven lethal. But I did not send me any fork. Uh, as he just like flurry of blows and like, just punches you so done. Man, I gotta say, I'm really, I'm really glad I decided to cave in and fucking give Katsuragi warding stance. Yeah, that's a good one. Despite Katsuragi having five stamina, eight with fucking exemplary athleticism, we <laughs> still take a lot of damage. Are you there? Hmm? I was asking if he was there. Sounds like he left. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yoko! Yoko! Yes. How are you looking? Uh, pretty beat up. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so. And so does Oso looking fairly beat up. Probably not as beat up as you. Nah, don't worry, I got I got this. When my turn rolls around. Dude, if I and down. she's gonna reach for the gourd and she pulls it <laughs> as like one of the robot arms. She <laughs> pulls it off her belt. <laughs> it's gonna punch it's gonna, pu it's gonna punch you first, hold on. What? The Kaicho. So it's Kaicho's turn. Oh. He said what? <laughs> Bro is flabbergasted. Only five lethal. Do we have any more music? Uh... Uh, Yoko, he slams on on you with a pipe. It's way slower than uh, every previous time. He's like, oh, oh, my old age, I'm getting tired. And God damn it, I thought I was retired. <laughs> what is the Yakuza Kami even getting for you? Yakuza Kami? <laughs> Yakuza Kami. Yeah, the old guy, the, the old guy's like, Huh? Huh? Wait, you're not working for the Yatsuke Kami? Yakuza Kami? Yakuza Kami? The Yakuza Kami is taking over all the shrines? Yes, the Gokoku shrines. Yakuza. In to... Yes, in order to keep power for himself. That plan makes rings a bell, but not the Yakuza in there. Wait, wait, why are you fighting us then? Because I am doing what you're saying, but not for the Yakuza Kong, as you say. Ah, uh, is this Sun Wukong? <laughs> What's that monkey have to do with anything? What are you doing this for? <laughs> Nothing you just said. It looks like we'll only get our answers through the battlefield. I was young and reckless like you once. It's good to see that spirit is still alive. Yo, good your turn. You can eat your rice. <laughs> eat my rice. I need my rice. I believe it's instant to eat your rice. Yeah, it is. Uh, fighting a toad. Yoko's fully healed! Woo! Yay! That's good, good and bad. Bad because that means your health, your health is so small that it heals you fully. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. I think I should beat you up now. Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> That's right. He's going to pull out. His a uh, gun. He cross it with his sword. Circular area. Hell zone. Is he going? Is he's going to use dragon fire and do in a big wide arc? Uh, he's going to use the. Should I use the aggravated damage? Nah, there's you no reason. Well, if you're gonna brag about it, you'll live. If you're gonna brag about it, then I'm gonna use aggravated. I know you're a commie and all, but depends on it. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be hitting both of these motherfuckers, so. Ooh, both of them? Yeah, I'm using, I'm using auto fire, fool. Cool. They both have a defensive aid, so. Mm. 
Auto fire means a one of them receives a penalty, right? I believe auto fire. Yep, so I'm going to give myself a plus three. And then a plus one. Okay, let me get let me get my modifiers in order. I got quite a bit of those. So I'm at four plus one for five plus three for that. Plus three, six. I'll spend more power on it. Maybe this. This is what high level Chronicles of Darkness is like. Let me get my let me get my dice in order. <laughs> let me find let me get all my dice. Okay. Alright. So that is that is six aggravated for the Toad Sage. Okay. And four aggravated for the Toad. You're lucky that my damage rating for my Dragon Fire is uh, is one because it's equal to my praise. How much aggravated Toad Sage? You're lucky. I'm, I'm a full level run one run. What'd you say? Toad Sage. I'm Jack. How much aggravated for Dark Sage? Six. As we all know, aggravated ignores armor. Yep. <clears throat> As he like you just like dragon fire both of them. As they're like, oh yeah. he's, like, yeah. he's, gonna he's gonna do a circular slash. Uh, then he's gonna jump towards uh <laughs> He's gonna jump towards Toad Sage. Alright, this is part two. Part two. Part two of an ongoing series. Call this is part two of an ongoing series called Katsuragi's at a turn. <laughs> Katsuragi's turn is every turn if you think about it. Yoko, the moss is on fire. Hmm. The moss is indeed on fire. You know, because of the dragon fire. Yeah, because of the dragon fire. Hmm. All right. Uh, as Katsuragi's gonna run forward, stab the Toad Sage right through the chest, and then with both of his uh, hands on his sword, he's gonna like pick him up and throw him right at the uh, right at the Kaicho. Mm. For 15 lethal. Oh, this is extremely unnecessary! He loses the mortality, though. Uh, as, like, the second you, like, stab through him and throw him, he's like, this is completely unnecessary. Uh, the giant toad just, like, <laughs> poops in a cloud of, of, like, a cloud of smoke. As he just, like, lands on the ground. Oh, that was really unnecessary. I apologize. I wish to end the fight. You could have stopped under the fire. Hmm. If I don't give it my 100% in combat like like that. Sure thing. And combat is over. That's where he looks over to Yoko. 
You did very well. I was surprised that you managed to pull out things of your own physicality rather than relying on your mechs. Yeah, that whole domain expansion thing. Now that I have a domain of my own, I guess I... And she flexes her hand. Parts of my domain have been a whole lot better. A whole lot stronger. That was an AT field. You ever heard of Evangelion? No. All right. So basically, there are these giant mechs called Eva, 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 Evangelions, Evas, whatever you want to call them. And they, the they turns age, like, can pretend. Turns age each rise upon a Evangelion. No, it's not. Don't say that again. I hate when people do that. But the mechs are alive. And because they are, they can project an AT field, an absolute terror field. And it, you know, blocks everything. And if you can't get through the AT field, you can't do much Absolute else. Absolute territory on the wind. <laughs> hmm. What is that? <laughs> she looks at me. Interesting. You'll have to tell me more about it later. Ms. Katsurgi walks up. Is he gonna uh, uh, turn off gate four? You turn around. Uh, and Toad Sage is back to sitting on a flat stone. Uh, you know, knees, uh, knees on the stone, sitting down, uh, just swallowing rice like a motherfucker. He's gonna walk over, and sit down next to him. You said you were doing this for someone. Yes. Any particular person. The plan you speak of is the exact same, uh, but the person that I am doing this for is not the Yakuza. As you say. There are more people vying control over the Kokoku shrines. No, it may be that I just know him over a different name. Mm -hmm. I'm very old, you see, so he may have come to me under his old name, too. Though I might influence a bit more. <clears throat> I see. What was his name that you knew him by? Yes, the one I'm speaking of is Kabuki Mono no Kami. Huh? Kabuki Mono. Let me, let me, first let me play music. That's appropriate. Lemon, look out. You're in the CNC chat. Oh, God. Lemon, look out. Look out. Look out. Yeah, I was typing. You. I was typing Kabuki Man there. That's why I look like Kazuya do that. <laughs> I'm. I'm sure. I just wanted to embarrass you. I see. Do we know that name? Ah. Uh... By breaking down the Japanese in it, you know that it was, like, stuff, like, for gangs in feudal Japan. Katsuragi, you specifically probably knew a couple. If, any, if anything, you probably were one, considering your vigilantiness. But, uh, but for justice. But for justice. Uh, I mean, feudal I mean... Japan, it could have been, but... Yeah, you know that Kabuki Bodo are basically, like... Delinquents, but in feudal Japan. Hmm. Delinquents, so they're like young people? Uh, yeah, young, like, they're like a group of young people who dressed very peculiar, very peculiarly, dressed very strangely, uh, in a very intense style, uh, and they spoke in a weird accent, uh, and they were often known for, quote unquote, outrageous behavior. <laughs> so basically, like the. Like the modern, like the the ancient equivalent, like the modern day, like dudes with pompadours, like the Sukiban girls. Yeah, that. almost exactly. Yeah, that kind of style. Uh, and for Katsuragi, you know specifically that that Kabuki Moto culture eventually turned into the Yakuza culture. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you know him? Did you know him before? Before you became no under this new name. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I was unaware they had changed your name. Although, in that respect, it makes perfect sense. I see. 
How long have you been guarding this in his stead? Yeah, only a couple years. Uh, may you relinquish control now, now that we've beaten you. Of course. I appreciate it. In the info. Oh, Kelsey is nice. He like so he sits back and I'm about a lot more comfortable. He like gets out from out of under his he gets his feet out from out from under his knees and just sits down on his ass, like fucking feet like fully spread. That's Ragi stands up again. Hmm. You're certainly the you're certainly the strongest. You're certainly the strongest of the Kami that we've faced under his employ. Besides Toad's Age, do you have a name? Uh, I prefer to go by Soul Toad's Age now. However, if we were going literally, I would be Bufo no Okami. Both. Bufo just translates directly into Toad. Yeah, I imagine. He also did say Okami. Hmm. As Yoko just like, I, uh, Okami? And she goes, Wait, you're a Okami? Nobody's called me that in a long time. The only praise I get nowadays are from the protected species of toads. Uh... Hmm. I see. Well, thank you, thank you for allowing us at this opportunity. See, bows. Come here, kids. Come here, kids. They bring you to end. Mm. I'll let you in on this, another secret. Yes. My other name was in fact once Jiraiya. I see. So you were I knew it! I tricked you, yes. It was a very impressive trick. I thought you made you believe I wasn't Jiraiya. So, so you fought Orochimaru and... It was very cool. As Yoko just... Does sound cool. Hmm. I was younger than though. No, I'm old. Old out of choice. Wait. No, old out of necessity. Wasn't the story of Jirai just immortal? I took Jiraiya. on that I took on that persona. You see, hmm. that story wasn't exactly completely accurate. It was told by someone I knew once. As he like kind of looked at you, Yoko. She was a lot like you. Me? Yes. Not you exactly, but I mean similar to you. Your domain, you said it is... What is that? Mecha. Is that a robot? What is that? <laughs> Mecha. It's a large robot piloted by me. You talk a lot about this anime, yes. Hmm. Yes, yeah, the one I the one I knew who told my story. It was the predecessor of her, the anime comic. Wait, 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 wait. Yoko, you knew an anime kami once. I knew an anime kami at one point. Uh, not only did you know an anime kami, you also knew them to have died. Uh, sometime in their past. Uh, but, so but so Yoko thing... knew an anime kami and she died? Yeah. Wait, wait. So, I knew an anime kami? When did you know her? Oh, far before your time, child. Wait, wait, wait. Is anime a thing? I guess she changed her name to anime, but she was a comedy of stories before them. And then she became the anime comedy. It seems that became the most preferred form of storytelling in modern times, yes. You said I'm in. You said I am in a Naruto. You said. Yeah, that's one of the enemies. 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm still getting over the fact. So you took on the name Jiraiya after the story. For shits and giggles before the mess. So you're not the actual guy. Well, I am the actual guy. I just made up his name. Whatever, you made up his... Uh. I made up Jiraiya and took on his Brizoda as a human form to do some cool stuff. Uh, okay, now I, now I get it. You get it. it. You get it. It's like a Brizoda. You get it. I get it. You can alternate identity. You get it. Yeah. And then your friend, the anime Kane, told my story. I'm sorry to hear her person. Yeah, it's... whatever. Until recently, I thought she was gone for good. But, with Disco... I guess they don't die forever. What the fuck is a disco? Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can. Yeah, for me. Yeah, there was the disco kami. Really popular in the 80s. And then, uh. He died. Like, in front of us. Basically. Lots of kami are doing that nowadays. Hmm. Most worship to go around, huh? Yes, indeed. The times are changing. With them brings the fires of such thing. Yes, perhaps I've come here state starting to fall off. Hmm. I believe we should depart now. Anything we should look out for this kabu I can't pronounce it. Yoko would be able to. Oh right, I almost completely threw up the hell you. If I were you guys I'd find somewhere to hide in the mountains or something. Could you please repeat that you're really quiet? <laughs> if I were you guys I'd find somewhere to hide or something. Huh? Specifically in the next twenty four hours. Hide? For yes. what for what reason? News came down from the Kabuki, sorry, Yakuza Kami, that in the next 24 hours we will be consult that we will be we Kurdborgord will be consolidating all our power to hunt down a group of Kami. I believe they were described as you guys. Really? Do you happen to have a brown-haired toilet fellow? Yeah. So the Yakuza Kami is after looks, us. Looks like we have a manhunt after us. Yes, yeah, so in the next 24 hours, they will descend upon basically anywhere you are. Hmm. Shit. It appears we aren't out of the fire yet. We must, we must return to the RV and lay low. If this conflict... If this conflict is anything like I think it is... Then perhaps we then perhaps we should steer clear with the mortals and tell. Yeah. Thank you for the information, Oat Sage. No issues. Uh, I am too old for this stuff. Hmm. I think I will stay here just a little longer. The most, the top of the moss is very nice. It is. Katsuragi uses his sword and begins walking away. You can second you guys turn away, you just hear... Rrr, rrr. It's riveting. How riveting. Yeah! <laughs> We're funny. You have to, you gonna head off to Yoko? Yeah. You do head off together back to the RV to warn them about a incoming manhunt in 24 hours. Uh, after oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Yoko, get on the motorcycle. Uh, we're, gonna get, we're gonna go on the motorcycle to get back as quick as we can. 
Ja, das ist die andere Seite schon. Yippie! Shit, consolidating all of their forces. He does send upon you, yeah. So does that mean that we have to take out the next two Gokoku shrines before then, or do we should we do it after? What you think? It's up to you what your plan is. Either we could take out the Gokoku and then run away, or we run away and then finish it off. I mean, you could run away, or you do some Yakuza shit and then and, and attack them before they attack you. <laughs> yeah, we have we have options. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's the fucking Yakuza Kami? The Gun Kami? The Baseball Kami? Ironically, the Gun Kami is probably weaker than the Baseball Kami in this case. Hilariously, yeah. <laughs> and then we have all the other random unknowns that are under their belt. <laughs> Don't forget the Blade Kami. And the Blade Kami, yes. I wonder what Kali is doing. Uh, well, well, who cares? Mary, right, that's the end of the session? Yippee! Congratulations, boys. Yeah, that wasn't that hard. We got it. Can you guess what time it is? Beetle! Beetle, Beetle. Oh, I just realized I get the ass kicking beat. Hell yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I did too! Know. Hey, hey, we begin. We begin our asses kick. Yeah, it's beat right. We can just... beat for ass kicking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you, Yoko. Uh, explore the limits of her domain. A D field. Sick. Uh, be cool. Jump shoot. Nice. Jump Work on the mecha. Hmm? What is that? Working on the mecha. Working on the mecha. Yeah, you got you. You revealed a new sort of mecha suit thing. Nice, nice. Woo! I'll also give you a beat for this technically being the first time revealing something new about your backstory. Hmm. Divine or just standard? No, oh, it's divine because it involves another comic. Cool. The anime comic is dead. Dead. <laughs> anime is dead! Good. I was like, what the fuck? Because I was like, I was like, what? Oh shit, New, new York shit. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> and me when Yoko just has a new mecha. And it's just in your pajamas and me with New Yoko backstory to say. <laughs> Alright, Katsuragi no Jiki on the Toad Fighter. Become the respected, the most respected Kami. You got the respect of a Toad Man. Follow my own code of justice and defeat evil. I mean, Toad Man wasn't exactly evil. But he was working for evil, so sure. Break the chain of cowardice and defeat the man who controls Tengu. Uh, no, 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 nothing on that. I, I really I'm, like, it's like, oh, damn it, what's this Wukong? He's like, what the fuck does that monkey have to do with this? <laughs> he's like, yeah, because who? And he's just like, oh, no, he's working for somebody else. Oh, he's working for Kami, but no Kami. Wait a second. <laughs> Just chota mata. Chota mata. <laughs> what about divine beats and XP? Three ends. Uh, both of you get a divine beat. No, it's a divine experience for meaning a new Kami, right? I don't know. No, it's a divine I experience. Mean, we'll you, get the, it. you get the divine experience for a, for liberating a shrine. Mm hmm. How many divine beats do you guys have? I currently we I have twelve total from like lifetime. So yeah, that does mean it's a divine beat for me to get a new So I get a divine beat for that. Uh, and I'll give my, you my lifetime divine experience is is well, 
I'll also see. give you an extra divine beat for learning that Jiraiya is the same as the Toad Kami. I'm one more from getting a one final divine beat. So we got... So I got one for Yoko's backstory, one mm. for liberating a Kokoku shrine. Well, I got one a beat one for XP for liberating the shrine. Yes. A what? One divine experience for liberating the shrine. Yes, one divine experience for liberating a shrine. And one, and one, one divine beat for backstory, then one divine beat for meeting, and then one divine beat for Jiraiya. Uh, so it's a divine beat, not an XP. Yeah, so three divine beats, one divine experience. He has the Toad Sage Jutsu. They said three divine beats? Yes. I'm one more away from another divine experience. I just, I got two divine XP this session because I got a divine XP, I got a couple of divine beats. I almost got two. I need one more for two. Good job on the fight, boys. Well, of course. We're good at the game. Even Yoko did some good stuff. In mm -hmm. summon her mech. Don't need but now she is, but now she has a an, an anti personnel mech. Or something. It's not a mech. It's a pilot suit. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, the Kaicho is technically a yokai called a Ogama, which is just a giant toad. Nice. And the way Ogama are created is when a toad lives for over a thousand years. Mm. <laughs> Old ass. Uh, and obviously very heavily inspired by our, our boy Jiraiya from Naruto. Okay. Clearly. 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 Indubitably. Indubitably. That's the end of the session, yeah. Nice. And Yoko didn't even get to show Katsuragi the domain. Didn't need it. Beat his ass without it. Katsuragi, you also know now about uh, some Yoko backstory. I do, yeah. You heard, you heard, you heard, yeah. yeah. She knew an anime yeah, comment, she's dead now. Yeah. She could talk about it to me if she wants. Dude, no, I don't want to talk about my my, my stuff with any. What if you. What, what if what if blank or blank or whatever, and then you, then you, <laughs> then you look at her? It's just me. That's a raggy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's friend. Everybody's friend. I'm just curling. <laughs> uh, you guys got anything else on Flesh to say? Mm. I don't believe it. Nah, not particularly. Right. This, is a yet, this is yet another situation in which I could rank up. But you will never do so because you're doing a rank one run. I, mean, I might praise you up. Right, you put praise up. Uh, I might praise up, but I don't know if I like need, I want to or need to right now. Uh, you know. I'm gonna end the session now. Okay.